Okay, it's Monday morning. It's, um, let's see, it's, uh, August, no, yes, August 31st, 2015. And I have absolutely no good song for this morning. The one that I picked, I couldn't remember all the words to. It was just a disaster. So, I just thought we'd have a little Monday morning chat en route to work. Um, what did everybody do this weekend? I hope you didn't go to the fair. Because I found out this weekend that one of my friends caught ringworm at the fair once. So forget it. I'm not doing the demolition derby next year. I don't be needing no ringworm. And I'm sure there's going to be some poison water incident that comes out in the papers. Some boiling water, poison lemonade, some kids in the hospital getting rehydrated and all that crap. And then, on my way to work, I'm going by what's left of the fair. And one of the freaking 18-wheelers that has one of those gamey things, what are, what are those called? Rides. One of those rides disassembled and put on the truck is in front of me. Can I tell you how pissed off I was? Well, first of all, I don't go to the fair. And second of all, I don't want people I know and love riding on something that can be disassembled in 20 minutes and be on the road to the next loser county fair. So that pissed me off. I finally passed him completely illegally by Saratoga Apple. But I wasn't the only one because everyone behind me must have passed him too. I worked on Saturday, and it was just an absolute nightmare. I didn't step in any poop, but truthfully, I would have preferred to step in poop than to put up with the, all the other crap I had to put up with. And then yesterday was Sunday, and I really did owe my husband a home-cooked meal. Um, so I got up in the morning and made some goulash. That was quite delicious, actually. I brought some for lunch, so if you want to try any, just come up to A3. And I've got a little bit. And then I picked a few little tomatoes off our little purple tomato bush where I got the seeds from these little purple grape tomatoes that my sister-in-law grew last summer, which means these are true heirloom tomatoes. And therein lies the extent of my knowledge of vegetable gardening. So I brought some of these tomatoes for a friend of mine who has a friend who has a friend who has a friend who grows tomatoes so I'm bringing them some so they can try them and they can dry out the seeds and then they can have these these tomatoes and then they're like heirloom squared I guess I don't know I don't really know how that works I'd have to ask like Mr. Green Jeans or something so I'm going to work today I hate Mondays Mondays suck and then Oh, I didn't finish what I did yesterday. So I made goulash, and then um, I had a whole stack of magazines that I've been wasting time playing Candy Crush when I should have been enriching my brain and reading some magazines or doing something a little more productive. So I read about three pages of the new Oprah magazine, and then I played some Candy Crush, and then I... Um, read the new people with get the newest lowdown on the Duggars who that Josh Duggar has just ruined it for all of them and all the fundamentalist Christians are in an uproar and personally I think they're going to find Josh Duggar with a really heavy cross tied to his ankle at the bottom of some lake in Arkansas because I think the uh, fundamentalist Christian mob is going to get him because he's, he really, he's, he's bad. But then it said that he paid Ashley Madison like 249 bucks for a membership and then $1,000 for a couple dates. All right, now really, who are you messing around with that's only worth 500 bucks? You've got Anna at home who's popped out four kids. Obviously, you don't mind her. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So I read a little bit about the Duggars and then... I looked at my bank account online to make sure all my bills had come in, got a little bit discouraged and decided it was time for a nap. So I went to bed about 
2 o'clock or 2.30 and watch a couple, two episodes of The Blacklist, which is like the best show ever. I love James Spader. He is like evil personified. I'm pretty sure in real life he must be gay, which I don't, I don't give a shit. But I, if he wasn't gay, I would totally be into him. So anyway, I watched The Blacklist and then I thought, hmm, this nap thing's not working out. So I popped his Xanax and I slept, I don't know, I slept for like three hours. All I know is when I woke up and went out in the kitchen, Marty was eating some goulash and some bread and butter and I didn't have to do anything. So I ate a little goulash. I talked to my sister on the phone and um, we tried to plan a time where we can visit before the snow starts flying maybe go meet at my brother's house in Vermont because they all know that I'm not driving if it's snowing. I am like the biggest wimp in the world. So anyway, um, I talked to her and then what did I watch last night? Oh, I watched, um, let's see. Oh, I watched two old episodes from the middle of the middle. I love the middle has nothing relevant to my life. I don't live in the Midwest. Um, my husband does not work in a rock quarry. Um, I don't have three children because if I did, I'd be in jail for killing them. And, um, but for some reason, I love that show. The kids on it are freaking hilarious. So I've set my DVR to um, record every single episode that's shown because I don't care how many times I see each episode, they still crack me up. And then... I watched a little, then what did I watch? Oh, I watched an episode of um, Scandal, which truthfully is really getting a little boring, And I, but I'm watching all of last season so that I can DVR this season. And this was a very bad plan. I DVR'd the whole season of Nashville and the whole last season of Scandal, but I didn't watch them. I thought I'd have little marathons in the summer, but... I'm not, that's not working out because I got too much going on. I'm also watching the entire 28 disc series of the OC and um, Orange County, Ocean City, Orange County. That's what it is about Newport, about, you know, teen angst in Newport, California in the like, I don't know, early 90s or something. All right. Now I'm in this traffic and these people are obviously going to the track and have no idea where they're going. Anyway, so I watched um, Scandal. Oh, and then I watched an episode of Nashville where the guy who is dating Connie Britton, I can't remember her name, Raina, he has cancer. Oh, it's very sad, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I took another Xanax because, you know, you can't get too many vitamins. Vitamins are good for you. And I took a Benadryl. It's a vitamin B. Um, because I have a little stuffiness. A little stuffiness. So, um, and then I put my earplugs in. And my eye mask on. And I went night nights. It's quite, I'm sure it's quite a little picture for Marty when he walks in. So, that's it. I'm sorry I didn't have a song for you today. Um, and I'm sorry I rambled on. I don't even know what I talked about. Um, but I hope you all have a lovely Monday. I'm highly doubtful that I will, but we can always dream. Hasta la vista.